<sighs> Greetings, everybody. Hoping this message finds you well. Today's critical thinking exercise, we're going to focus on one word this week, and that one word is game. G-A-M-E, game. What is your understanding of the definition of the word game? Unlike other times, I'm going to help you out a little bit. Um, my understanding of the multiple versions of the word game are like some form of sport, like we'd call basketball a game. Running that example through, another definition of game is when you play that sport from beginning to end, like uh, the game is over first quarter through fourth quarter, at the end of the fourth quarter, that's a game. Game can also be um, like a like a like a trick or something like that. We'd say in Detroit, like running game, like playing games with people, being slick, being clever. And then on my way over here, another definition of the word game popped in my head as I almost got ran over by a deer, believe it or not, is we consider like animals to be game, like we hunt game. So I thought I'd do this video here playground, playscape, jungle gym, whatever you want to call it. Because life is not playing games with you. And I'm not exactly sure when at, when is the point that you accept that and get in the game. You know, when I grabbed my bike this morning, I went down the stairs, went in the garage, grabbed my bike, open the garage door, look up. I see it's about to thunderstorm. All of that is just part of the game. It's an obstacle. It's an obstacle in the path and the obstacle then becomes the path. You know, this COVID season we're in, evolving our chance for social justice season we're in, all of us are not playing the same game. And so what I want for you to do is think about all the different ways that the word game applies to your life right now and all the different games that life will throw at you on the way of completing your goal from beginning to end. I want you to think about what happens if you do not take this game seriously. You know what happens? You become game. You become the person hunted. You become the person we conquered. You become the trophy we've mounted on the wall. So in this place, in this weather, on this day, I challenge you to not be moved, do not be distracted, do not be deterred by the games that life is playing with you. Because I want us all to win, which means I do not want you to be the game that gets conquered. Play the game, write the rules of the game. Do not be the game. No, this is not too deep. And I'm only saying that because I keep hearing that on these videos. And what I am offering to you is the ultimate compliment. You are not lazy thinkers. Practice the skill of thinking. So today's word is game. Be the game. I'm sorry, do not become the game. Play the game, write the rules of the game. Do not be the game. I do hope this message finds you well, finds you safe, finds you healthy find you patient, find you diligent, does not find you deterred, dejected, or distracted from your mission and goals for your life. Thanks for sharing your time, everybody. I'm going to get back to this in the thunderstorm because it's a fun game to play. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.